Okay, last section on graphs now. We're heading back to our straight line graphs. We're basically given a straight line here of y equals 2x. And we're then going to be shown another line on here, which we're told is parallel to y equals 2x. We've got to work out the equation of this line. Very, very straightforward. Parallel lines, obviously the gradient is going to be exactly the same. So for this line here, the gradient's going to be exactly the same. So y will equal 2x. So what's different? The intercept. We just look straight away at the intercept. The intercept here is 6. So y equals 2x plus 6. So, for a parallel line, exactly the same gradient, just the intercept will change. So I could draw another parallel line on here, somewhere over here. In this case, we've actually gone through at minus five and a half. So this one is going to be y equals minus, so y equals two x minus five point five. So it's that straightforward. Parallel lines, same gradient, different intercept. Okay, what about a perpendicular line? So I'm now going to draw a line that is perpendicular to this one. So the y equals 2x plus 6. So by perpendicular, I mean that it meets it 90 degrees. Okay, it's going to meet there at 90 degrees. Okay, so it's meeting there at 90 degrees. What is the gradient going to be? Well, we can see the gradient's a lot shallower. We actually find the gradient is going to be such that, with the perpendicular line, the gradient is such that the two gradients, gradient 1 times by gradient 2 must equal minus 1. You can already see it's going in the opposite direction, so it's going to be negative. And it's actually got to be such that the, the two gradients times together is going to be minus 1. So we need 2 times by something to give us minus 1. What's that something going to be? That something, in this case, is going to be minus a half. So the gradient, so this is going to be y equals minus a half x minus a half x, in this case, plus three and a half, or 3.5. You can write those decimals or fractions up to you. So that's it. Parallel lines, same gradient, different intercept. Perpendicular lines, the two gradients must times together to equal minus one. Gradient one times gradient two must equal minus one. At least that's straightforward. Okay, there's a load of these questions, there's a few of these questions for you to practice, and then we're all done with our algebra and our graphs. We will get some graphs and some algebra popping up later, but to all intensive purposes, we should be able to tackle them very easily when they come along.